Hello friends and welcome to Zona Disc Golf. Well, we have another option to play in Spain, the new course in La Molineta in Murcia near Alicante, Costa Blanca. And we have with us Thomas Lietua, part of the building crew. Thomas, welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm Thomas. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are also relative uh, of the people that is working in this villa because this is a special course. We have a villa and this 18-hole course, uh, part 58, 1890 meters. It was co-designed by Mikael Hame, no? Yes. It's a, it's a course that challenges all levels. We see those uh, Finnish pro players that come in the winter to avoid that snow and welcome, are welcome here. To, to play in this beautiful sunny weather we have and also the amateur players that want to combine that stay in Spain with playing some, some disc golf. So Thomas, you are gonna show us some of the secrets of this of this course. <laughs> yeah, I'll, tr I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, here we see the beautiful almond trees, olive trees, wine yards. It's a natural environment, very, very pleasant to, to the eye. So hole number one, par three, 87 meters. It seems like an easy one to begin. Yeah, it's definitely an easy one to begin with. Um, it gives you a like easy, easy start, easy start to the to the course. You can approach with a basic hyzer or a straight shot, whatever you prefer. Okay, here the the basket is between those olive trees, but see, it mm -hmm. seems like it's uh, an achievable birdie if you have the distance. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind those rocks that are on the on the ground, no? Yes, it can. Yes. Like, the trees and some of the rocks can like put difficulty on your footing okay uh, here we see part three the second hole 83 meters we go back to the villa and it's uh, quite a similar although i suppose that the wind will be reversed is there strong winds in this area yes sometimes uh i only played it twice so for for the other day it was very windy but the other day was calm that, that's okay to add a bit of of uh, variety, no? it's, it's more fun when you have different conditions. Yes. Here we have the basket close to the, the villa. And we have a long hole here, almost 200 meters, par four, OB on the right of the path. And here you really have to show what your arm made of. Yeah, this this was a good, good hole because you could really send it here. Okay, when the when you are on the first shot, then you see that the basket is quite close to the to the path. You really have to be precise on your approach to try to to gain the birdie on this hole. Yeah. Okay, that's it. And here we see the the Carche Mountains, which uh, surround us and all this uh, um, all this area. Hole number four, part three, one hundred and eleven meters. Uh, we have OB on the right, and then maybe you should try an overturn or maybe even a, a long forehand shot. Yeah, as a forehand dominant player, I, I felt like this was my hole here, but you can, I think you can go over the OP as well if you have the arm speed with uh, with the Heiser backhand. Okay, maybe this those olive trees on the, your right could cover and could difficult that very if you hit that, that tree, but you really have to be so you really need some power and some some precision to make the birdie here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, hole number five, it begins to change. We are starting to climb 190 meters uphill. It's things, uh, it seems like it plays a bit longer, no? Yeah, and it definitely felt much more uphill than we can see here on the video. Personally, I... I played this as as par, but I heard some of the Finns could, uh, the pro players could make it to the basket with with one throw. But it's well, really where hard. Where's the basket? It's behind the the big bush there. Ah, okay, okay, I see. Okay, yeah. that's good. <laughs> so yeah, with one one shot, it's difficult to get there. There we go. Yeah. It's, okay, this is a challenging hole. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. To birdie. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hole six, uh, part three, 63 meters, and I think this is the opposite. This is our chance to make birdies, no? Even as amateur players. Yes. But you do have to know how to play uh, downhill for this one. Because the your shot can slip away easily if you don't know how to manage it. Okay, so you maybe you have to aim a bit down downwards, no? Mm -hmm. To to avoid going too high, no? And yeah. 
Okay, and here we are going to the to the creek of the old dry river that will accompany us on, on the next holes. Hole number seven, part three, 77 meters, and we are inside the creek. And now I'll, we need a little bit of precision, maybe a beautiful flex line here, no? Yes, um, the, easy, the hole doesn't seem too bad, but the actual landing area is kind of tough. You can get uh, nasty rolls and hit to the wall and, you know, make it roll. And even the bush to the left is, uh, you don't want to be out to the left of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a curious emplacement. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hole number eight, uh, part three eighty four meters. We have OB right, and again the the basket is hidden be behind us that big tree. Yes, um, I really like this hole because when I was practicing it, we had much more leaves, and I really had to shape the shot, ha having to go like. Um, very overstable, sending it with big Anheuser and just trusting the fate would take me behind that big tree there or bush even. Oh yeah, that's it. Those baskets are pro discus baskets. Yes. I also played here a couple of days and I, th I, I was pleased with, with them. I didn't know it, but it was working okay. Okay, hole number nine, part three, 89 meters. And there we have that Oh, be very close to the fairway. No, it's you have to be precise here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the wall, the OP line, which is the wall to the left, it's very close to the basket all the way, the whole fairway. So yeah, you definitely need to be accurate here. It's beautiful, it. hole though. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. And then we see the villa on the background, and then we're gonna talk a lot, a little bit more about the villa because this is a villa. Mm, built by Finns and it in, and it's uh, like a good option to come with your family with your groups of friends and make a stay here of this golf and and social life you know mm -hmm. it's definitely unique that you can stay like spend the night inside the the course yeah that's that's absolutely true here we see the the swimming pool and the the two rays and the decoration is like a rural villa in Spain here we see uh, Mikai and all the people here having having some good times. So oh, maybe you can take a Spanish siesta. <laughs> <laughs> and the coast is really close by, so you can really wake up and throw some shots, even have breakfast there. Here are the common areas. There is uh, all this. Uh, there, there's even a Finnish sauna, which yes. was uh, yeah heated by by wood, not by electricity, which was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the best way. Even had the experience. <laughs> yeah, and I think that it's. Uh, a good uh, a good way to spend a weekend or a week with your colleagues uh, watching some disc golf on the TV. Yeah, the pool is a new addition. Too bad we didn't have that one when I stayed there. <laughs> yeah, and this it, I think that the capacity is around 18, 20 people, so you can really go make uh, a beautiful holiday with with all your friends to play some disc golf in Spain. Yes. Okay, back to the creek. We are in already in hole 10, 154 meters, par 4, and there is a mando, which is that pole that we see uh, mm -hmm. on the on the background. Yeah, for this one, uh, the mando wasn't there when I played it, but I would say you want to stay to the low ground first and then just try and get yourself a clean up shot. And yeah, the last part of the hole is elevated so keep that in mind that's it if you if you follow the path you're on the good route yeah absolutely and this this landing area is quite big so it's it's an it's a birdieable hole but you really yeah. you really need some distance and some precision hole number 11 here we are by the villa uh, 69 meters part three and the, there is an ob which is that that water reservoir on your on your right but this one is another that even the amateurs with a good shot could attend the birdie. Yes, for sure. Uh, the only real danger here is the the building to the right. And we see those those old machines. There was some wineries here, no? Yes. We are in the area of Jumilla, which is a typical Spanish wine area. And if you are interested in all the wine culture, you can even visit some some wine yards, which is very interesting. Hole 12, part 3, 84 meters, and maybe it could be the signature hole. The basket is down there, and it's a beautiful shot. Yes, this definitely could be the signature hole. It's a beautiful one. Um, I really like this hole as well. It was uh, like you had to be precise with your putter throwing um, downhill. Some of 
some of the trees, they might help you or they might be against you. I was thinking exactly that. You can go behind an olive tree, olive yeah. tree and be five meters away from the basket and don't have a clear pot line. So you really need extra precision. Hole number 13, par 382 meters. We are inside the creek and we're getting away from the from the villa and the basket is on our left. So maybe a hyzer flip or something like this could make us reach the basket. Yeah, this is one of those uh, birdable holes, even for the amateurs as well. Um, pretty simple, hyzer to the basket and hope to get close without any rolls. Okay. Yeah, the rolls are possible because the basket is on a, yeah. on a slope, so you really need to, to cross your finger when you land on that area. Hole 14, par for 155 meters, another long one, and the basket is, you follow that contour of this of that creek, but then your basket is to the right. So you, you really have to choose if whether to choose to, to follow the creek or to go above that right area. Yes, and for this hole, since it's only 155 meters, I'd be curious if some of the biggest arms in, in the pro scene could go and eagle this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't have to worry about that one, but it's, I'm curious though. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And here is the basket, which is quite protected by this natural creek. So you really have to choose whether to go one route or the other to try to at least take the par here. Hole 15, 69 meters, not too many meters, but it's a severe uphill and it's hard to go there. Yeah, it's definitely uphill. Um, you have this big green bush there you can aim towards, but the danger here is if you go long and left, it starts getting uh, downhill really quickly and you can end up in like 100 feet away from the basket. Okay, and another mm, <laughs> very spectacular hold, hold 16, 125 meters, and now it's severe downhill, so here you really have to play with the wind because I played on the morning and in the afternoon and the conditions were different and you, it's like a different, different hole. Yeah, this this one plays with wind, and you you have to know how to play downhill for this one. Uh, you don't want to slip your disc to flip over, because as you can see on the picture, you have the wall that just drops multiple meters to the right, and you have nothing from there. Yeah, that's right. So we have some uphill and some downhill on this on this area, which is always interesting. Hole 17, here we see the amateur players will be making a fun round. 175 meters par four going back on Dot Creek. And you gotta go first on along the creek and then the basket is hidden on, on that left wall. Yeah, you, as you can see on the on the video, you just follow the creek and at the end you get the basket on the on the left. It's it's hidden like you said, and it's you kind of want to go and check where it is to for your upshot. Yeah, <laughs> not that easy, but here we see the players. So yeah, there we out. go. And we are going back to the villa with the last hole, another beautiful hole, hole eighteen. The that basket on under those pines, and you gotta be precise to avoid hitting a branch and rolling down. Yeah, you have some flat ground behind the basket but if you land there you always have that dangerous spot towards the towards the downhill it's beautiful i, I hope i thought this uh, ended up being the signature hall here <laughs> beautiful. okay thomas we want to thank you for showing us this this course which is the newest course in in spain another 18 hole course another option for playing this golf in Spain, especially on those cold Euro North European winter months. Thomas, thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. It was a pleasure. Okay, so we hope to see you all playing in Spain this winter and this season along. And here you have the La Molineta in La Murcia near Alicante. See you soon in Zona Disc Golf. <laughs>